guys it is evan here from evan sports corner and i am back with another video here on the channel today i'm going to be talking about kamar rocker not signing with the new york mets after a physical exam showed that his arm was not doing well and there were a lot of concerns about his arm going into the draft the mets decided to take him with the 10th overall pick and then they don't sign him so i'm going to talk about kamar rocker not signing with the mets in this video but before we hop into the video remember to leave a like if you enjoy subscribe to the channel if you are new to so not as more sports content like this and let's hop right into the video so the new york mets did not sign kamar rocker and the deadline to sign rookies has officially passed and Kamar Walker was the only New York Met not to sign with the team. They had like, what, 20 draft picks, and they did not sign Kamar Walker. He was the only one. He was the guy that they took with the 10th overall pick in the draft, believing that the generational talent hype that he had two years ago, back in 2019, was true. After a rough end of the 2021 season, his draft stock definitely plummeted. At one point, this guy was considered to be the consensus number one overall pick in this draft, but obviously that has changed a lot over the past couple of years. Kamar Rocker is still a good pitcher, but there have been a lot of concerns with Kamar Rocker. One of the main concerns about Kamar Rocker is his velocity. There have been some reports that his velocity has dropped significantly. Now he's consistently in the low 90s, where he used to be much higher with his pitches. He's now just barely hitting 95, 96 miles per hour. And this is a concern because he is 21 years old. If anything, he should be continuing to gain velocity. He shouldn't be going down at such a young age. So with that, everyone knew that Kamar Rocker had some serious issues with his arm. So that's why he was barely in the top 10. At one point, this guy was supposed to be a top five draft pick. There were even rumors that a team like the Rangers would take him or Maybe a team like the Red Sox would take him. There were a lot of different rumors of where he would go. He ended up falling to number 10 with the New York Mets, and the Mets took him with the 10th overall pick. At the time, many Mets fans were very happy about this draft pick. Obviously, just two years ago, this guy was considered a generational talent, and all these fans thought that they got a steal in Kamar Rocker, and he was going to be a future ace for them. But that did not happen. In fact, just a few weeks after the draft, Kamar Rocker is no longer on the Mets roster, and that's a shame because Kamar Rocker was a very high-risk, high-reward player. Obviously, all the stuff coming out about his arm were true, which is unfortunate for the Mets. And if, if he was able to actually play, who knows? This guy would have been a really good pitcher for the New York Mets in the future, but we didn't even get to see him become a high-risk, high-reward player. We didn't even get to see him play in a single minor league game. All we saw was that he failed a physical exam, his arm is just not right, and the Mets obviously would not sign a guy like, like that. I don't know if this was the best pick by the Mets. It, it was an okay pick for the Mets to make at number 10, but at the time, it seemed like a pretty good pick. The guy had fallen in the draft, and you were thinking, maybe you can get this guy at 10, and he can become a great steal, but it didn't work out that way for the Mets, and... It doesn't really affect them too much right now. The Mets have a really good team. They were just buyers at the deadline and went out and got Javier Baez. And they have a contending team right now, so they don't really need Kamar Rocker. But this is a bet back for the Mets. Now, what are Kamar Rocker's options after not signing with the New York Mets? Well, he could go back to Vanderbilt for the 2022 season and try to build his draft stock up, fix his arm. He could go to an independent league or go overseas, try to get his draft stock up. Or maybe he will just never go to the MLB because if these arm issues continue to pop up, no team is going to want to get him. No team is going to be willing to sign someone like him because of that arm. And we all know that Kamar Rocker is very talented. Obviously, the reason why he was even selected in the top 10 was because of his talent level. But it just stinks that he might not have an MLB career because his arm just will not cooperate. And because the Mets did not sign Kamar Rocker, they will get the 11th pick in the 2022 MLB draft as a compensation for not signing Kamar Rocker. So this does hurt both sides in Kamar Rocker and the Mets. And we'll see if Kamar Rocker can get another chance in the MLB. Maybe he'll go back to college, have a good season, and he will get drafted next year and maybe he'll have an MLB future but for now all we know is that Kamar Rocker is not a New York Met and he is not going to be an MLB player for the foreseeable future thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoy remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel if you are new so you'll not miss more sports content like this and I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you guys in the next one peace out